It's 90.3 FM KEXP and streaming online all over the world at KEXP.org. My name is Morgan here with you every Saturday noon to three and I am down in the live room. Very excited to be joined by Halos. They are back for their second time ahead of their new second album that is coming out on May 10th called Any Random Kindness. Welcome back. Thanks for having having us. us. So glad to have you. Love to hear a couple songs. Take it away. It's Halos live on KEXP. Halos live on KXP playing tonight at the Crocodile. Love to hear another track.
beautiful Halos live here on KEXP. They are playing tonight at the Crocodile. The new album, Any Random Kindness, comes out on May 10th. And we just had a couple of exclusive new tracks right there. Can you talk about those new songs? Uh, yeah, the first one is our new single, End of World Party. And the second one is Ark, which is off the new record. Great. It's so exciting to hear these new songs. First off, you've had three tracks released so far from this new record ahead of May. Uh, Boy Girl, Kyoto, Buried in the Sand, all of which we've been playing a ton of so far. So Thank excited you. to hear these new songs. Um, since you last put out uh, your, your first full-length record, Full Circle, back in 2016, that was uh, your, your first full-length where you got to sit down and write all of these songs all at once. And then in the meantime, since this new record's coming out, you've been touring on that. So what was the process of making this new second record and in, in the midst of touring and, and everything? Um, I think we, we took the decision to take, take the time off the road and to, to go back into the studio. So we, we really did start writing it back in the studio rather than on the road. But I think it was very much informed by what we saw during our travels. Um, I think it's, an, it's a record that looks outward a lot more than the, the first, than Full Circle. Um, we we recorded it in a in a bunch of different settings, sort of in basements, in farmhouses, in a, an awesome studio in London called Baltic Studios. Um, and yeah, it was just it, we took our time with it, and I think um, moving around gave us sort of different different moments in the writing process that really helped keep 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 the um, keep the energy in in it. I think it can become quite static if you don't change up your environment at times. Yeah. You mentioned the record is very outward looking, just basically listening to the lyrics of those first three songs that you've released so far. I'm picking up themes of uh, isolation, societal pressures, um, feeling alone because of social media and all of the scary things happening in the world, climate change, all of that. Is that an overarching theme on the whole record? Yeah, you go to the top of the class for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A plus. I, def I definitely think like it was impossible not to take notice of that while we were out touring and um, it feels like uh, we really wanted to write about the kind of the the kind of you know the main main issues that are going on at the moment that everyone's concerned about and um, we felt like we could kind of bring something beautiful to that as well and um, we kind of felt like we owed it to everyone really like we have a platform like we should write about responsible things yeah. <laughs> you know it's gonna you know because it's, it's you know music is brilliant as entertainment but it's also meant to mean something and, and we kind of from an artist perspective you're looking for the truth and um, yeah I think that's what we went for I don't think we had much choice in the matter we just kind of like uh, this record emerged uh, we had you know these themes which we were we were kind of, you know, they were influencing our lives. And it's, we, we, you know, as artists, we want to be kind of mirrors of the world. You know, you kind of, you look at the world and you just try and reflect what's out there. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned things that you saw along the way. Were there specific places that you went or things that you saw that really informed certain songs? It, yeah, it was quite weird, actually. When, when we were originally discussing the album, we were like, okay, we definitely want climate climate change or global warming or whatever to be one of the themes in there. And then we were in Austin and... First of all, I ended up bumping into someone from NASA, <laughs> like, uh, like really randomly in a bar and had a long conversation with her and then also bumped into a climate change scientist in like another bar in Austin. And um, so like weird serendipitous things kind of happened like that along the way that, that really ended up informing the, the kind of the backdrop to it. And obviously like there's the whole political landscape that feels very much in state of flux or like maybe it hasn't kind of turned out how everyone expected it to be and this kind of weird like uh sort of uh you know the like truth no longer seems to hold its you know reverence anymore and it does um, on the west coast <laughs> it does on the west coast <laughs> <laughs> i hope so <laughs> um yeah that's great and when you when you go around playing these songs do people talk to you about their experiences and do they talk to you about how their music your music has has influenced them or, or changed their mind in certain ways yeah, we've had some, I mean, amazing fans that have, have really, you know, seemed to have had the first record really impacted them and, and you can feel that in the crowd and in the audiences and, you know, some of the chats we've had with people have been amazing. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to have, to feel the emotion back from people from what they've taken from your music. It's, it's wonderful. Yeah, and talk, you guys talking about reflecting what's going on in the world with music. Um, what role do you think music in general plays with humans and, and our human experience? I think it's, it can form a sense of 
catharsis. Um, so it can be an escape for people, for sure. I think it's a way in which we can reflect and um, take stock of everything, you know, like all art. It's just one, you know, uh, just one facet um, that we can, you know, access in the world. And I think the great thing about music is a song that means something to one person can mean something completely different to someone else. And so, in a sense, you're just in this kind of... Um, um, you know, very subjective world, but that, that has absolutely no prejudice, um, which is, again, it's like a really lovely thing uh, to be a part of. Yeah, I, I definitely think, just adding to what Dom said, you know, it, the, the amazing thing about music is it melts boundaries between people, so you get people from totally different backgrounds, like very little similarities between them, but they could find themselves inside a song in a kind of, you know, shared, shared way, particularly live. Like, mm. um, that's a lot of what we really enjoy about live is it feels like, it really brings people together and um yeah like like we we feel very connected with the audience when we're on stage and um in this kind of strange social media like disconnected discombobulated world it, it feels nice to like have those real real moments with people and um so, yeah. yeah yeah um i would love to know what do you all do for fun when you're not on tour or writing songs <laughs> like what do you do outside of music there's an outside. <laughs> Dom sits in his studio. That's yeah. <laughs> run. You uh, run. Yeah, yeah. Run. I like running when I'm yeah. not patching We're synthesizers. Into, uh, yeah, because I like a lot of Pilates. Nice mm. exercise. I, I go rock, rock climbing, climbing regularly. Yeah. Awesome. Where do you go rock climbing? Uh, mainly in the gym, rock climbing gym yeah. in London. Uh, I'm going to go outside a bit this summer. I think. Nice. Da yeah. Daniel, what do you do? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Hi, everyone. <laughs> oh, Daniel joined the band. That's right, since yeah. the last time, yeah. official I, member. I joined bands for fun. <laughs> How many bands are you in? Yeah, I have like four. Nice. No, that's a joke. <laughs> this, is, this is my main baby. Yeah. <laughs> and we got the awesome Matt, who's now with us on the drums. On drums. Yeah. Hello from across the room. <laughs> it's Matt Mason. Nice. So you've been touring the U.S. Uh, for a couple weeks now. You have uh, U.S. and Canada dates through April and then heading back to the U.K. in May. Yeah. Uh, May 10th is the album release date. Are you doing anything special on the album release date? We, yeah, we're going to be playing at a festival in Brighton called The Great Escape. Um, and then we're doing a headline show, a couple, I think just the week after, to have a party to celebrate the album coming out in Dalston, which is where we wrote the beginning of the record, which is... And the first of, one. Yeah, and all of the first one, yeah. exactly. So it's sort of home turf. Nice. Be nice. Bringing it full circle. Bringing oh. it full circle. Oh. Exactly. Okay. Back, back, back at the class. <laughs> yeah. Oh, darn. <laughs> well, it's so nice to have you all here. Looking forward to hearing the full-length record when it comes out on May 10th. It's called Any Random Kindness. Halos, we would love to hear a couple more songs from you. Thanks. We got an older one for you now. Yeah. It's actually full circle. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Good intro. Front of the class again. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Taylor's live on KEXP. <laughs>
Halo's live on KEXP.
live on KEXP that was buried in the sand from the new record, Any Random Kindness, that is coming out on May 10th. Thank you all so much for coming back and playing for us. It was so nice to see you. Thanks, Thanks you for honest. having us back. Have a great rest of your tour, and congrats on the new record. I hope you have a blast. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Well, hopefully we'll see you next time. Keep it tuned right here to the station where the music matters. 90.3 FM, KEXP, Seattle. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That was great. Thank you so much. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.